2019 Ram 1500, we had numerous design goals, uh, interior, exterior, uh, all the way down to the, the old new logo that we created. So we wanted everything to be new from the ground up. So what the customers will notice on the 2019 Ram 1500 is proportions. That's first and foremost the thing they will notice from a distance. And a lot of that is due to the uh, credit of the four inch larger crew cab, which translates into a longer wheelbase, longer overall length. Probably the second thing they'll notice is the 22 inch wheel, especially on the Limited. It stands out, it looks great. There is no crosshair on the new truck. It's an RAM grille on the front and a ram's head on the tailgate. I think it really freshens the design and kind of really moves it forward. Each price class has its own grill aesthetic. Some are variations of others and then you have different colors and different finishes. If you go to the body side, especially on the two-tone, you can see the two-tone line has a interlocking shape with the body side molding and the shapes above. Uh, same thing when you go to the rear. Uh, you can see it in the tail lamp design. It actually is kind of more of a horizontal statement in the headlamp design. I think it makes the truck look more integrated versus uh, just a layering effect of different elements. When you look at the limited, and you look at the Rebel, we call them the Beauty and the Beast. And I got to thinking about the new aesthetic for the new Ram. It's brutish, but at the same time, it's beautiful. And so we kind of came up with brutiful. Regardless of the material that it's made of, whether it's glass or plastic or metal or composite, aluminum, what have you, it looks like, you know, if it were to take a beating, it would survive. I jokingly say, if you hit it with a sledgehammer, it would break the hammer. So we took that to heart and put that into the design of the all new Ram. And we also put that into the logo also. So we wanted it to look unbreakable. It's all about more. It does so much more than today's truck and then what the competitive set does. So much more, more storage, more content, more feature. 22 inch wheels on the exterior and, and you get a couple uh, flavors of those. You have the Rebel, which has its own unique character. Uh, it looks uh, so incredible, the aesthetics of that. 12 inch screen on the interior. The list just goes on and on and on about what this truck does. It's all about more. Through extensive testing here in the wind tunnel, we're able to optimize several features of the truck that will allow it to have a low aerodynamic drag, which then allows the customer to get the improved fuel economy that, uh, that they desire. We also spend a lot of time in here looking for wind noises and whistles. The 2019 Ram 1500 has three active features to help improve the aerodynamic drag signature of the truck. Adjustable grill shutters, a class exclusive active air dam, and our class exclusive air suspension system that lowers the vehicle half an inch at highway speeds. We have an active grill shutter system behind the grill um, that opens and closes based on how much cooling airflow is needed. Uh, we try to keep it closed as much as possible because that allows the air to be redirected around the truck to keep the drag low. On the active grill shutter system that we have on our current truck, we've carried that through to the new truck. Um, but we've moved it forward so that it was closer to the grill and was more effective from an aerodynamic standpoint. Um, we've added the active air dam, which deploys at 35 miles per hour. When that deploys, it allows the air to be redirected instead of going underneath the truck and hitting a lot of the suspension components that create high drag. It diverts it around the truck so we keep the aerodynamic drag low. Our class exclusive air suspension system has an aero mode that lowers the vehicle half an inch to help reduce aero drag. Uh, we spend a lot of time on the mirrors because um, those sticking out from the sides of the truck are big sources of drag. So we spend a lot of time on those and to refine the shape to produce as little drag as possible. We look at the shape of the bumpers, the fog lamp pockets we've modified to try to help the air get around the bumper so it slows efficiently. And then when we get towards the back of the truck, we've done things with the tailgate cap to keep the drag low. We've done things with the leading edge of the bumpers, trying to, instead of making them flat, they're beveled to try to get the air around them more efficiently. Compared to the previous Ram, we've been able to reduce the drag of this vehicle by 9%. So that's a huge improvement over a truck that was already uh, a very low drag vehicle. We now have a 
class leading 357 coefficient of drag. That's a number that, quite honestly, is better than some mid-size SUVs, and this is a full-size truck. Some of our top goals with the truck um, were honestly no compromises. That was a theme throughout the rest of the design of the pickup truck. Um, from an interior standpoint, we really started with an exceptional interior already um, in our Ram truck. So uh, honestly, it was, it was easy from that standpoint. We had a good footing, um, had a ton of stuff that over the years um, we have you know, had input with customers um, on what's worked, what's not worked. Um, and I think we've listened to that, um, something we've been doing a lot lately. So as soon as you step into this vehicle, you're gonna, you're gonna open the doors. You got actually got power side steps uh, on the truck now. And so it's kind of an inviting feature um, to really step up inside this, uh, this interior. Yeah, technology is definitely, it's one of my three keys, I think, for the interior development. Um, and for us, it was something we had to not only uh, absorb from designing the screens and the features like that, but we had to absorb it into the overall statement of the interior. And that 12 inch screen uh, really looks at home in the environment. We have redundant controls on either side of the touchscreen. The navigation uh, screen in that system, in that 12 inch screen is amazing. It's um, full screen navigation, uh, pinch to zoom. Uh, you have multi-touch gesture controls. Uh, and the Uconnect system itself can not only display the full screen, uh, it basically takes almost two 8.4 screens and stacks them on top of each other. Storage, uh, it's one of the keys of this pickup truck. Um, at the end of the day, the, the truck can look really beautiful on the outside and the inside, uh, but it's still got to function uh, as a pickup truck. So storage is definitely paramount. Uh, in the front of the compartment, uh, we did a great job at creating this center console. Um, it's uh, one of the best features of the pickup truck. Uh, for me, there's a lot of flexibility with that. Uh, the customers can, can basically use it how they see fit to their needs. We also have on the passenger side an upper and lower glove box. That's a really a decent sized space. The lower glove box is lockable. And then the rear. Uh, the rear of the pickup truck um, is a great space. Uh, it's really, for me, an area that um, our designers and engineers went crazy in terms of trying to find all the little nooks and crannies and make, make the space very functional. You know, really, at the end of the day, every little place within this truck, every stone has been basically turned over and looked at um, with scrutiny. Um, with all the capabilities that, that this group has in terms of uh, making the best possible truck out there. I'm Mike Novak in the 2019 Ram 1500, and this is the Uconnect 4C NAV, the most technologically advanced connectivity system available in any truck. We can display the NAV on the full 12 inch display here. This display supports pinch to zoom, also multi touch gestures to be able to switch between 2 and 3D modes. It also features live traffic information to make sure you get to your destination efficiently. This system also features a built-in cellular connection. For that, you can use the services of Uconnect with SiriusXM Guardian to make SOS calls, assist calls to ask for questions about your vehicle. Send and Go allows you to send destinations from your smartphone to the vehicle's built-in navigation system all using the cellular connection that's built into the system. You can also download the Uconnect app to lock or unlock your door, remote start the vehicle on a cold day, all from your smartphone or from a smart watch, such as an Apple Watch or an Android Wear device. With that built-in cellular connection, you can also turn your vehicle into a Wi-Fi hotspot. This vehicle also features SiriusXM with 360L, this is brand new, the first time ever it offered on any vehicle, and it's exclusive to the 12-inch system in the Ram 1500. What this does is it blends satellite radio that you're familiar with with cellular streaming, the same built-in cellular connection of the system. Using the data plan that comes for a year trial on this vehicle, you get additional channels, additional content, on-demand streaming of audio, plus it allows you to search for additional content easily, and you can create profiles so that if multiple people drive your vehicle, each person will get recommendations particular to their listening 
desires. To find that extra content, we have categories including music, sports, news and talk. The sports in particular, it makes it real easy. You can switch between the home broadcast crew and the away broadcast crew. And the simple graphics allow you to easily find the team that you follow. This system is easy to use like all of our Uconnect systems. You can use it in a split screen mode and you can personalize what content you show on the top card of the display or the bottom card of the display. And with all of our fourth generation Uconnect systems, this one supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can view that on the top screen while still maintaining other functions on the bottom screen. And you can drag and drop the apps you use the most to the lower menu bar Plus, on the audio screen, you can also adjust the sources for the different music you like. And if you like SiriusXM 360L, you can move it to the top of your list so it's always front and center. We've also retained the buttons and controls and the precise feel of the knobs so that it's easy to use regardless of what you're doing. This is a Uconnect 4C nav system with a 12-inch display. It's the largest display available in any pickup truck, and it's just one of the many reasons why this is the most technologically advanced truck you can buy. In materials engineering, one of our fundamental approaches is the right material for the right application. And that worked out very well in a vehicle like the new Ram 1500, where attributes like durability and strength and those things are very important to the customer. If you think of steel in its most basic form, there's mild steel and it has a small amount of carbon and some alloy, alloying materials. So what we want to do is something as important as the frame of a vehicle. It carries the weight of the vehicle, performs uh, an impact, needs to be durable as you're, you're hauling, you're going off-road. That's where we go to the high strength or the advanced high strength steels. They're very complicated materials with complex microstructure and chemistry. Um, tuned to the specific application so it gives you a specific performance. You, you get increased strength, but then you also get ductility, which is very important for things like uh, forming the parts as you're stamping, drawing. One great example where materials was involved is the front upper control arm and the suspension. Um, this is a, a hybrid design of the control arm that's unique from anything we've done before. It's basically a stamped steel structure that's overmolded with a structural plastic. Um, it allows benefits from the standpoint of good performance. It's a weight save over the traditional control arm. We used uh, splayed front frame rails and they're advanced high strength steel that is, um, it's tubular and then it's formed over a mandrel so you get a, you get a variation in the section and the gauge thickness and that gives you tailored performance and repeatable performance, both for uh, impact and for durability, and also helps you save weight there. As you progress to areas, say for example, um, fenders, doors, the roof panel, um, we use a variety of steel that's called bake hardened steel there. And what that does is it allows you to get increases in strength. Other examples would be in our door beams and our impact that we wouldn't be able to get with traditional forming operation, operations. And that allows us to have great impact protection, side impact protection for the occupants in the vehicle. Through the proper choice of materials, we were able to drop the overall weight of the vehicle 225 pounds. When we use these high strength steels and advanced high strength steels, they give you a performance that you need, the durability, the fatigue performance, the impact performance with a thinner gauge material, so subsequently you can take weight out compared to the old truck. Pretty proud to say that the cab of this vehicle behind me has 54% high strength steel, and the frame itself, 98%. And through clever engineering, this is without a doubt the best frame in the pickup. Our durability testing is generally designed to put the engine through the paces that a customer would and then take it even further. So if any of you have ever used a power drill before, you know how quick the response is when you pull the trigger or release it, starting and stopping the, the motor of the drill. These dynamometers have that exact same capability. So we are able to almost instantly 
rev the engine to any speed we want or decrease the engine speed to any speed we want. Using the dynamometers in that fashion, we are able to simulate extreme conditions on the engine. Today we are testing a 5.7 Hemi engine with the optional e-torque system, capable of capturing energy during engine decelerations and storing them in the 48 volt battery pack. That energy can then later be used to help during engine accelerations or for engine stop and starts. That technology is imperative to help in increasing our fuel economy. This engine is available for use in the uh, Ram 1500. Some basic durability testing that we do would be to run the engine at peak power for say 200 plus hours, which is 5600 RPM at wide open throttle. We have cells capable of doing deep thermal shock, plumbing the engine with negative 15 degree Fahrenheit coolant, negative five degree Fahrenheit engine oil. We also run tests through our newly upgraded eight speed transmission and four x four transfer cases. In fact, all powertrain components of the Ram 1500 will be tested in similar conditions, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The 2019 Ram also offers an upgraded Pentastar V6 that comes standard with the e-torque system on it. It's specifically tuned for truck duty and rated at 305 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque. The newest Pentastar V6 includes additional advanced technologies such as wide-range variable valve timing and two-step variable valve lifts. We put our engines through the brutal test that we do to make sure that our powertrains will withstand anything the customer can throw at a vehicle. What's going on here is long-term durability testing of the new Ram 1500 pickup. On our road test simulator, where we recreate the vehicle's reactions that it would have if it were driving over rough road surfaces. How the new Ram 1500 deals with all of this abuse is high strength steel in its frame and body to improve its long-term durability. The five link suspension with progressive rate coil springs and new frequency response damping shock absorbers are dealing with all of that abuse that's coming at it from the road simulator. Hydraulic cab mounts are isolating and cushioning the driver and occupants from what's going on beneath them in there on the simulator. We record responses from vehicles that we drive on our proving grounds. We bring that data and vehicle back to the road simulator and we recreate the responses that we measured as we drove over our durability roads at the proving ground. When the responses match here, what we measured there, the vehicle can't tell the difference between the test I do on the road test simulator and the actual test on the road at the proving ground. Our corporate durability test is anywhere from 20 to 30,000 miles long. Picture yourself driving over abusive roads like what's going on behind me for thousands and thousands of miles over months to accumulate the damage that a customer does in a lifetime of use. The road test simulator can run that in six weeks and, well, not beat up a driver in the process. Our test looks very severe because it really is. The roads that we're recreating here are the roads from our proving ground, which are some of the roughest roads you're going to find anywhere. And those roads have to be rough to incorporate the duty cycles that our customers are going to put their vehicles through through a lifetime of service. This truck will endure this testing 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the next month and a half. And it's just one of many durability tests that the new Ram 1500 will have to endure to prove its design before it goes into production. <laughs>